What's up, team? Eddie Gray back at it again. Today we are talking about plugins. Have you ever tried to look for a plugin? Maybe you installed it. You're not sure if it went into the right folder. You're looking around into the user folder, shared folder, document folder, and it's all just a mess. I'm going to teach you how to essentially clear Logic's internal memory of your plugins so that when it erases what's called the cache, it will then reinstall and re-scan all of the plugins that are currently in your system so you can in fact verify if you do have the plugin lo loaded or not. So what you wanna do is you wanna go all the way to the top here and go to go, and then you go to go to folder, right? And so then I am gonna need you to type this in. So carefully look this over, go ahead and take a screenshot. We're looking at little squiggly line which is on the top left right below escape and then forward slash library forward slash cache forward slash audio unit cache forward slash now what that's gonna do it's gonna take me over to this folder right here the next step is to then take this file and drag it outside the folder now, what's going to happen is when you restart Logic, I'm not going to do that now because I have so many plugins and I don't want anything to rescan at this point. What's going to happen is Logic is going to rescan everything in its internal system. And then once it does that, you'll know what you actually have and what you do not. Now, this is how we're going to verify, though. We're going to go into the plugin manager. We'll create a track just to get the system going. I'm going to hit command p that's what i have set up as my plugin manager key command okay and then from here you can look at the manufacturers on the left hand side so let's say i'm looking for melda production so right there i can see everything that has been loaded if the compatibility is there and if it's not let me see if i have anything I'm going to go to show all compatibility. Okay, so here are some plugins that are currently not working. Well, this one I don't have because I upgraded to the next version. These here, I actually purposefully took them out of my system. Okay, so let's go over how to deal with these. So at the very top, you can see I've got track spacer. Okay, well, when I go into the components folder and i can tell you where that is in a quick second here i believe it's this one no it's this one right here see what i've done is i've saved everything in advance the file that you're looking for to be clear is under library audio plugin so look for the hard drive in my case it's right here go to library then audio plugins and all of the au logic files will be right in here we'll go to track spacer okay so you can see that i have version 2.5 right and then here's 64 so this is the old one so i'm going to go ahead and delete this one okay so then now i should be able to hit uh reset rescan selection you can see that it could not be opened. So then what I'll do is I will quit Logic, open it right back up. Logic will then rescan the plugins. It will see that that specific one is missing. Hit the compatibility tab right up there. And now it is gone. It is gone from the system. So remember it was right up here before and now it's gone. So these are good techniques if you want to clean up your system this version same thing i got the newer upgrade so i don't need psp hertz writer and you, we can confirm this by the way let's go to show all psp hertz you can see that there's two versions so then again we will go back into that same folder and run through the same process plugins components type in psp now we're a little closer, delete that one, restart logic, and then you are home free. I hope this video helped. Look, the aim here is to contribute to the lives of all the creatives out there. You guys know that I've spent a lifetime working on music in general, been killing the game, crushing the game the last seven years, 
and we're helping so many people make money with their music, actually create their music, and we're just so stoked to see people grow and evolve. So if you're interested in more content, go ahead and share, go ahead and subscribe, and we are happy that you guys are digging the channel. We'll catch you on the next one. Take good care. Thank you.